Checking out our live weather bug camera. This would be uh, Lexington Center looking downtown at Victorian Square there. Not much happening, hardly any traffic out there. Watch out for some fog like yesterday. It's really only an issue down around Williamsburg. And around Moorhead, you've got eight-tenths of a mile of visibility in uh, Rowan County there. False echoes on the max track and showers out west. These are about as unimpressive as you can get. We have a cold front coming in. Don't anticipate much in the way of precipitation at all out of it, although they're getting soaked in Oklahoma, north Texas, out south of Wichita there. A little thin line of showers cutting across Michigan. This front that's tracking our way will not bring, really, rain at all. Maybe some isolated to a few showers. The bigger deal is clearly going to be the temperature drop. And here you can see these showers trying to pop. The future track shows by dinner time, just maybe for the evening commute, some stray showers out there. We're most likely to see the very limited chance for rain into bluegrass, northern Kentucky counties, maybe back towards Bowling Green. As this boundary drops south and the moisture continues to fade, uh, so will the few showers that we'll see. So that tapers off. Tomorrow, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on beyond the successive waves of cooler air that are tracking our way. Wait till you see about how far we're about ready to fall here. 62 in Lexington. So the average high for today, 74 degrees in Lexington. We're shooting for oh, about mid to upper 80s again. We have been consistently hitting 88 or 89 degree highs in Lexington for the past six days. Time of the year, we're usually in the mid 70s. So at some point, you know, there's going to be a course correction and it comes in two waves, two cold fronts. One actually gets in here late today, but the impact won't fully be felt until tomorrow. And then another one Friday that will knock our temperatures down even more so. So we could conceivably go from highs pushing 90, at least mid to upper 80s midweek to barely getting into the upper 60s Saturday. That's how much we're going to cool things down. So it's about to feel like fall around here. What will happen is this big heat ridge breaks down. Maria off the coast gets out of here. So uh, that's been an issue down toward the Carolinas. But this cooler air is going to settle into the Great Lakes. And our well above average heat is going to go below average for a couple of days and then kind of level off, even out as you get into the next week. Speaking of Maria, Lee's still out there. There's Maria off the coastline. This storm continues to weaken. It's over water that was cooled by Jose. Uh, so there's not a lot of fuel for it to work with. It's down to a tropical storm. And this is the National Weather Service radar out of Moorhead City, uh, the outer banks of the Carolinas. If we look at the past six hours, you can see some of those outer rain bands wrapping around, but the bulk of the storm offshore staying offshore and tracking northeast to east and out of here. So by the end of the week, this is going to be nothing but a um, fish storm, much like Lee is way out in the Atlantic and racing northeast as it continues to become extra tropical. If you're an allergy sufferer, our pollen update, our daily update from family allergy and asthma, weeds still at a moderate level, mold still at a moderate level, and we're shooting for another day in the 80s. But say goodbye to that action starting tonight and into tomorrow. That isolated afternoon and evening shower chance tonight down to around 60, some upper 50s, and tomorrow only back to the mid-70s, so pretty close to average high. And then the temperature continues to fall. You want to talk about a refreshing fall field of the weekend. We've got it. we got football weather for the U.K. game Saturday. Overnight lows down in the 40s. And you notice we do start to warm back up again. We may edge back to the low 80s toward the middle of next week. All righty, Tom.